Hello, today we're going to be going over how to add and edit an image while in WordPress. By edit I mean left aligning it with the text. If you want the, image, the text to wrap the image um, to the left or to the right or if you want the image directly above it and also how to add padding around the picture. So we've picked the page that we want to edit and before I begin actually if you, there's something that you really want to just skip to um, you just all you want to know is how to add padding, you already know how to add an image, anything like that, there's a table of contents below that will direct you to the point in the video when that will show you that. With that we'll get started. Um, so we want to edit the, the About Us page. So what we're going to do is determine where. Um, I'd like to add it right next to the A. So the A and at of course. We're going to hit edit page. Alright, and we're going to go right to the left. We're going to hit add an image. Okay. That's right up at the top. Add image. And if the picture is not already in your website, then you would go to select files and then you would just click this picture here and it would bring up the same window that's going to come up now. If the picture is already in your WordPress site, maybe on another page or maybe it was just something that was uploaded and never added to a page, you go to gallery and that'll actually bring up all the pictures that are in the website. Right now I only have one in here. So we're going to drop down, you can hit show. That'll drop all this down. Um, once you add the pictures in, you always want to have you want to designate a title, alternate text, and I mean, for the sake of time, I'm not going to add a description, but you want to add all this information just so that it's really good for the search engines. Um, you want to try to get one of your key, key your key keywords in there. For us, it's web design. For you, um, depending on your business, uh, you know, choose accordingly. Uh, I'd like to spell innovation right in my title. <laughs> so put that in, that's just going to help with Google recognizing your site and figuring out what you're trying to put on there so that they can send people your way and hopefully plenty of business your way. Before we add it in, just want to take out the UR link URL. Sometimes when somebody's on your site and it has that URL, um, they're actually, if they accidentally click the picture, it's going to, it's just going to bring them to a screen that only has a picture on it. And we don't really want that just because it's going to look awkward and you wouldn't even want to do it if you were if you were just trying to show somebody a bigger picture, because there's better ways to do that, and we'll, such as you know, little light backs, photo galleries, slideshows, um, all different ways. But we'll be going over that in the future uh, videos. So pick your size. You have thumbnail 150 by 150, pretty small, um, 300 by 200, or 900 by 600. That's going to be huge. You don't want to do that. Um, it's always best before you upload the the picture to your website that you try to get it as small as you're ever going to. You know, as big as you're ever going to need it, you probably will never need it to be 900 wide. That would probably almost take up the whole page. So try to, before you upload the pictures, try to make them all like five or 600 uh, wide. And we'll also have more videos for that on batch resizing. I'll show you a nice little program. So you can hit insert into post. Um, once you're done, you don't have to hit, I used to hit save images when I first started trying to use WordPress, but it's actually insert into post. All right, so that's in there. Um, it's not where we want it, but I'll show you what it looks like as is. Hit view page. All right, so that just looks kind of silly. Um, it's completely pressed down underneath the image and just on one line. So we want to get this text all the way up to the right, wrapped around it. So we're going to X out of this, go back to editing the page. Click on the image. Um, and then just go to this little button, edit image. And you're going to pick your alignment here. Say you want to left align it. And that's what we want to do. And then hit update. OK, now update the page. We'll take a look at the page. Everything looks great. It's left aligned, this space around it. Most of the time, the, the, your website isn't going to automatically add this padding around the image. Um, in that case, I'll show you how to do that. 
because we don't want, for example, on your site, it's possible that the A, the U, the Y, all that would be completely pressed against the picture, and it would just look awkward. So we're going to go back. Same thing, edit image. Go to advanced settings, and then down, and you see vertical space and horizontal space. 10 is usually sufficient. You can add more if you need to. That's 10 pixels. And you hit update. And that's just going to push everything to the left and right, make it a little bit more um, spaced. Uh, sometimes you're going to want to add a caption. So to add the caption, you're going to do the same thing. Click on the image, hit edit image, and caption is going to show up below it. Some people like to put photo courtesy of or photo by or um, if it's somebody's name, you know, John Smith standing from right to left, John Smith, um, Sarah Smith, <laughs> all those different people. Go. Any reason why you would want to have a caption on a picture. So in this case, we're going to say innovation. Update. It's going to add innovation right below the picture. I'm going to hit view page. Let me try and do that. Oh, <laughs> I looked at the wrong page. Sorry about that. So it's going to add innovation right below the picture. Um, there you go. So sometimes if it looks awkward, like right now, this is the default version of WordPress and the image is a little weird once you add a caption and this isn't centered. Uh, these are all things that can be solved um, in the back end so you just need to talk to either us or whoever does your website to say hey you know when, I, when I'm trying to edit the content I'm having this little problem that's actually a really quick fix uh, just as something that has to be done in the actual uh, code and CSS. Okay so let's go to uh, different alignments of the images all right, so we don't want it there, and we don't want it to the left anymore. We want it above this, centered. So all you have to do is hit Edit Image, Center, Update. And that's going to be centered right over everything. Let's take a quick look. Perfect. And now, same thing. Um, pretty, pretty simple. To the right. All right, so now you're probably asking, who cares? Just put the image wherever you want. Um, well, for one, yeah, you can put the image for wherever you want. If the image, depending on how important the image is, if the text is more important, you usually would have the image to the right so that people just automatically read it. Um, an advantage of putting the text, the image to the left and the text to the right is um, most people's eyes are typically drawn directly to the image a lot of the time and they'll naturally look to the right so they'll end up reading the text right away so if you wanted to put some kind of call to action or some bolder text or anything that's the place to do it right to the right of the image would be great um, still does work here uh, you'll see that this would be a great spot for a call to action box so if you had the image here you know somebody would naturally look to the right and see that you know call us now buy now anything that we would put right there is a call to action Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video and it, it is very useful for you in adding images to your site. Um, images definitely help a site um, look less bland and everybody likes some pictures. So this has been another tutorial from Compete Now, WordPress and e-marketing tutorials that give you the keys to your web presence and put you in the fast lane to success. For more videos, check out our website, startcompeting.com slash tutorials. All right. So till next time, um, keep building.